Uh, ABC chief uh, global affairs correspondent Martha Radish, well, she took a road trip to three western states where several Senate races could provide some surprising outcomes. A driving issue for voters across the board, the economy. And Martha begins in Nevada, where Republicans have a strong chance of flipping a seat there. Across Nevada's rural desert landscapes to the bright lights of Las Vegas roars a bitter fight for control of the Senate. They're running around peddling conspiracies and lies about an election that they claim was stolen that wasn't. We're doing this to save Nevada and save our great country. Nevada's Trump-backed former Attorney General Adam Laxalt. And there's no one more trustworthy in Nevada than Adam Laxalt who helped lead Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in Nevada, facing off with Democratic incumbent Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, the first Latina in the U.S. Senate. But Cortez Masto, with her low-key style, is seen as one of the most endangered Senate Democrats in the nation, because despite the fiery rhetoric about 2020, this race comes down to the economy. The economy, inflation, that's a big issue with you. Why? Because the prices have gone so high. All over Nevada, but especially here in Las Vegas, there were massive job losses during the pandemic because, after all, Las Vegas is all about hospitality, hotel jobs, restaurant jobs, and not all of those jobs have come back. When we won, we win! Ted Papa George leads the Culinary Workers Union, one of the largest in Las Vegas, launching a massive effort to get out the vote. All right, we vote! So far, the union has knocked on some 700,000 doors, encouraging registered voters to go to the polls and support Cortez Masto. The voters that may make the difference for the Democrats, Latinos, who account for roughly 20 percent of registered Nevadans and a whopping 60 percent of the Culinary Workers Union. Even if Cortez Masto wins in the heavily Latino areas, Laxalt is still confident of victory. Across the border into Colorado, you hear the same familiar echo from voters. It is not the 2020 election or the divided nation. Probably economies followed closely, real closely by the border. Incumbent Democrat Senator Michael Bennett, who's seeking a third term, is fending off Republican Joe O'Day, a Denver businessman selling himself as a fresh face in politics. My campaign's been focused on one issue. And it's inflation, inflation, inflation. O'Day describes himself as the Republican Joe Manchin, and he supports abortion access and has incurred the wrath of Donald Trump for accepting the 2020 election results. But a Republican hasn't won a Senate seat in Colorado in nearly a decade. And Democrats are fighting hard to convince voters they can help families. Bennett touting recent legislative wins. I've led the fight for the biggest tax cut ever for working families. Nationwide, Democrats are playing up social issues. Bennett, no different. He's put abortion at the forefront of his campaign. Mary Keene is so passionate about the issue, she's already voted straight party ticket. I don't agree with anybody telling me what I can do with my body. So basically, the Democrats say they're not going to mess around with my decisions, and so I just voted for them. But Democrats across the border in Utah will not have such a clear choice of candidates because there isn't one. That anyone is even talking about the Utah Senate race at this point is astonishing in itself. Utah is a blazingly red state. Utahns have elected only Republicans to the Senate for nearly 50 years. So the Democrats have a plan. Instead of putting up a candidate who would almost certainly get trounced by incumbent Mike Lee, they are throwing their support behind former Republican and now independent candidate Evan McMullen. The politics of division and extremism are tearing our country apart, turning Americans against each other. A former presidential candidate, McMullen, would need to bring Democrats, independents, and Republicans into his camp. But incumbent Mike Lee knows even with McMullen's surprising strength, he is a long shot. And like everyone we talked to, Utahns told us they just want someone who can fix inflation. A Republican rallying cry across the West, across the nation, that aims right at the Democrats' most vulnerable spot. For GMA3, I'm Martha Raddatz in Dallas.
And our thanks to Martha for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.